All right, hello everyone watching on Twitch and YouTube. We've got Vietnamese going on right now, and I hope this is going to be a good enough for a YouTube game. Uh, we're actually playing as Vinchester, playing as Hindustani, so the new Hindustani, pretty strong civilization here. I'm going to try our best to make it work with the Vietnamese. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to come on, check us down on Twitch. Link in the description below, guys. It's all free. You come on down, say what's up in the live chat, and join our community down here. I play a lot of 1v1s, so it's a really good way to catch more of my gameplay. <clears throat> I think the overlay was messed up, right? Damn, that was bad. It's fine. Should be good. This is what happens on Twitch, guys. You will catch these moments live. 10 out of 10 intro, I agreed. Alright, so the strategy here is 19 pop, and I'm gonna go for a range. I have to make two skirms first, and then I have to make archers. Um, not sure why he wanted two skirms first, but... Yeah. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll edit the overlay out, don't worry. Don't worry about that one. I have a nice back uh, back map here. Hindustani's guys really really strong civilization these days. Um, I, I I actually called that they were top five civ, maybe top ten, but it's looking more like a top three civ actually. The more I see it playing against them, but it, yeah, it's hard to say for sure right now. But for one v one, they seem absolutely crazy. We'll see how that plays out. We shall see. Nice about Vietnamese that I get to see his location of the town center really early, so kind of it kind of makes for consistent gameplay. If you guys want a civilization that's like an archer civ, it's also very consistent. Vietnamese is a solid pickup. It's hard to mess up with a civ. It's really hard to have a bad game. <clears throat> Are no, Aztecs and Chinese still top three civs? I think. I think Chinese is, but I don't think Aztecs is. I think it depends who you ask. Some people love Aztecs, some people think they're like pretty average. Not average, like average amongst the top steps, of course, but like no one thinks they're bad, of course, but depends on who you ask will tell you they're either really, really strong or pretty strong. <clears throat> Except laming with the advantage of seeing the enemy TC in Arabia? It's a good question. A, you don't run into it with the scout. Uh, and B, I get to lure deer because then I know exactly where to go scout when I need to go scout. So I don't lame, so I, instead I just lure one deer. I can even do a second one if I want to, but I already took a lot of time scouting. And then I can go scout my opponent and I know exactly where he is now. So it's uh, I can't really mess up my scouting. So I'm going to be scouting right towards his base, which is... It's a pretty good bonus, honestly. It's not, listen, it's not an amazing bonus, but it's a bonus that adds consistency to your game. Go to Militia Drush, he might. The most useless strategy in the world to Militia Drush. Accomplishes absolutely nothing, I think. I think actually the one benefit it has is that you get to keep your opponent walled at a low investment. Uh, not walled, keep him open at low investment. Uh, he's gonna go to Militia Drush here. I have to just check my boar. Wow, hey, look at the pathing on the tree. It just doesn't, it's its ridiculous actually. Absolutely ridiculous. There's nothing I could do about that. That villager was just destined to die. <clears throat> that was absolutely crazy. Well, strategy is completely screwed now. I cannot win with the strategy I had in mind. Because um, it's such, such a tight build order. We are doing viewer strategies here. I might be able to trap a scout here, maybe. No, even this village is so slow. God, my villagers are pretty dumb today, it seems. His Drush is coming in most likely soon. He's probably gonna do two militia. I have a really good exploration of him. I'm gonna bring my militia, uh, my scout back now to defend. Or to help defend. So militia Drush comes in. I 
Uh, we're gonna delay our gold because the guy wanted us to make two skirmishers first. So we don't need to go on gold too early. He's gonna go around here, that's fine. I just fight with bills, I don't really care. It's just two militia. What I'll do is I'll send one guy over here and I'll just wall her in. So if he wants to fight, it's gonna be four bills and my scout, it's gonna be impossible for him to fight basically. <clears throat> I guess what the strategy does is that it just keeps him pretty safe at home. While he attacks me. Oh, I get this up, up as well. I just pretend I lost the build to his rush, guys. I know, I know. Losing a build to a useless too much rush, I know. Never happened to me before, but. We gotta have to pretend it happened. The only way to cope with the boar. Can I get a spear back here just to make sure he doesn't kill my uh, berry villagers? Kind of need those. I'm gonna go two skirms and then I switch to archers. <clears throat> make one spear just to help defend a little bit. Keep him a tiny bit honest. He actually went and then arm tech. Wow. That's interesting. That means he's adding more, yeah. So as you can see, this is a viewer strategy, so I had to go for it, but you can see now why the skirms are a bad addition. Because like you need the archers first and not the skirmishers first. Um, so this is a good display of why skirms are not the right call to add early. But it would be good against pure archers, but <clears throat> I guess anything mana arm related, the scrims won't help too much. Now, the, the good thing though is that he might think I'm on pure scrims, which is pretty advantageous for me. Because that might skew his decision making a little bit. We'll see. It might. Ah. coming here. Hello. My map is pretty awkward, by the way. It's like I walled the back, but nothing else is walled, so it's a little bit awkward. I have to wall this, I think. It's the only way to defend it properly from here. <clears throat> Otherwise, it just becomes a hot mess. But like this, it's fine. Like this, I can defend it. I'm trying to attack a little bit here. Should have had fetching a long time ago. Why is he obsessed with that one tree that opens a hole? Like, <laughs> it's just so crazy. The one tree that actually you can't chop, he wants to chop my villagers today.
That's huge. I'm winning so hard now. All I have to do is not die and I'm winning completely. He added scouts, which is a very big investment. So yeah, like I said, now it's just have to hold. Way too much on wood, but I have no wood, it's really weird. I might have been able to dodge him there somehow. <clears throat> I think it's because I lost the bill actually that I have no wood. If I can get a bill here, it's so massive. Yeah, I got a bill. Bad tracking on his end. I may be able to get a second. No, he did a really nice ball there. No, I missed the scouts. Hard to click the bill. My bad. I messed up there. I still be able to get it. Yeah, I got it. It's so good. I'm not used to getting this much value, actually. Just a few units. I should not attack, but I want to attack. Hopefully it's not end up being a game losing decision. I shouldn't attack just because I'm already the game is already completely over. If I just don't die now, like if I just don't take damage the next little bit, I'm completely winning. But I want to try to move out. I'll get a stable just to make sure I'm fine at home. So I think he might switch to scrims. <clears throat> See, I'm gonna move around and try to be a little bit sneaky. That's very good. He's outside my walls, but actually at the same time, he's got men at arms here. Uh, I'm gonna commit to it. <laughs> the game just became very interesting. Very, very interesting. I think it's still open there. Make a tower here. Probably doing skirms here. Can't afford it though. stable as well. Can make something in case he has skirms. That's huge.
Let's go. Pretty sick game. Pretty sick game. Really fun one as well. Unfortunately, we lost the build to the boar, which kind of slowed us down in the feudal age, but I think our, uh, our strategy was very solid. And like I said, Vietnamese is just such a consistent civilization. And from this position, I can go ballistics, but I don't like ballistics here because I think that he's, he's already getting wrecked by crossbows. So if I just go ballistics, it's like I'm doubling down into aggression. That's not really going to add that much value. So I'm, I'd much rather just add my own economy, which is like extra town centers. It also secures the game. Um, so yeah, really, really strong game there for me. Uh, and the strategy actually. Uh, two skirms are good to make, but they're not good to make right away if your opponent has men at arms. But mixing in a couple skirms that lets you win those early archer wars, so it's pretty good. Really nice aggression there, GG. Oh, did I not say GG? My bad, I, I forgot to. Alright, thanks for watching the video guys on YouTube. See you guys next time. Peace! Comment down to Twitch. See ya.